Hey y'all. Today we're making this cool guy. Gifts are super fun and they're a great way to promote Primate Social. So let's get to it. Go ahead and open your video editing program. I'm on my iPad, so I'm gonna be using Video Leap. It's also a great program to use if you're on your iPhone. Let's go ahead and start a new project. So take a second and just familiarize yourself with your options down at the bottom of the screen. So prior to starting this project, I did save the images and files that I'll be using to my camera roll. Our first step then is to import those images. So you're gonna go ahead and push the plus sign. Inside my camera roll, I'm selecting my main image, which is this drumming monkey dude. Uh, right now, he's just a gift, but we're gonna make him awesome. So go ahead and select him, and then at the bottom, click Add to Project. And here he is. Below the large image is a play button. Go ahead and push that, and you'll see it runs through the entire GIF. Now that's way too fast to do anything with, so using our finger, we're just going to slide back and forth to see the movement of our monkey. So next we're gonna be adding our primate head, but before I actually do that, I'm gonna count the number of times the monkey's head moves so that I have an idea of how many edits I have to make. So I just kind of start from the beginning and just slowly slide through and one, there's one and two and three. So three total head movements. I know I'm gonna have to put three heads on my monkey. Next, we're gonna add the primate head. There's a couple ways to do this and I'm gonna show them to you. The first thing you can do is actually just press the plus sign and import that primate head just like we did the monkey earlier. So you'll click that, click your image, and go ahead and add to projects. The issue with importing your image this way is that you've now added the primate to the back of your GIF when you really want it to overlay on top of it. But this is a very easy fix. All you have to do is select the primate image. Just press down on it and go ahead and move it up above your monkey. Whoops, didn't quite get it that time. There we go. And there he is. So you'll notice that he's now laying on top of the monkey. Now let me show you the right way to do that. So let's go ahead and get rid of this primate image. So to do that, you're gonna trash him. Go ahead and select his picture and you'll notice the little trash can shows up at the bottom. Holding down on it, just go ahead and slide him down and right into the trash can where you drop him. We're right back to where we started. Go ahead and move to the uh, start of the monkey. And at that point, down on the bottom left-hand side, there's a button called Mixer. Go ahead and select that. Now we're gonna do the same thing and import that image. This time, he's overlaid on top of the monkey right where we want him. So go ahead and just move him around with your fingers, size him up, you can make him bigger, you can make him smaller, whatever you want to do. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm keeping note at the top of his head, how much hair, orange hair sticking out, as well as on the side. Now I'm going to cut down my primate head. So first, this image is way too long. I'm gonna scroll to the back of it. You'll notice that I know that I'm working with the primate head because of the yellow bar. So just go ahead and uh, press down on the arrow button, hold it down and scroll back. Where we wanna end this first image is right where the monkey head first moves. So back, back, back I go. I think it was around here, but we're gonna double check it. Here's where timing is important. So we're gonna go back and see if we can find where that first head movement is. So just kind of watch your monkey, slowly scroll over. Aha, it's right there. 
So right now my image is too small. So I'm going to touch the monkey, the primate's head and go ahead and ex expand that image out further by clicking on the little arrow. Hold it down and move it out to the red line. Then I'm just gonna go back and double check it again. So that looks pretty good. Now we need to duplicate the primate head two more times. So down at the bottom right hand corner, there's a button called duplicate. Go ahead and press that twice. You've now created two additional primate head images, but now we need to place them in the right position by overlaying them on the monkeys. So go ahead and hold down the circle and move and slide your primate head over until it matches up with the end of that gray line. Then you'll do that on the other duplicate as well. Now we need to go back and ensure that we place those primate heads in the right time frame of when the monkey moves his head up and down. So scroll back to the front and head moves, yep, and head moves, yep. Okay, so now we've got to position the face in the right, in the right location. So go ahead and click on the monkey face that you want to edit. And we're just going to move it down a little bit to account for the monkey's head moving. We'll do the same thing with the other one. Move his head down to account for the monkey's head moving. And I think we've got it. The last thing that we need to do, if you'll notice that this last image of the primate face doesn't extend all the way back to where the end of the monkey is. So we're just gonna wanna make that a little bit bigger. You do that by selecting the image below. Again, using that uh, arrow on the bottom right hand side in the white bar and you hold it down and you just bring it out to the end. Okay, I think we have it, but let's go ahead and give it a try. Again, if you push the play button, it goes a little too fast. So I'm just gonna manually check my head movement and I think we've got it. Okay, if you'll notice, this video is only about a second long. Well, we need to make a GIF much longer than that. So what we're going to do is export this image and then we're gonna import it again three additional times so we can make this video longer. Up on the top right-hand corner, you'll just go ahead and click Export and hit save. Now we can go back in and import that image. And we'll go ahead and do that a couple times. Okay, now we can start from the beginning. Just go ahead and click that rewind button and we can see our creation. And that's our GIF. Now we just need to save it. So we're gonna export again. And it's now saved to your camera roll. There is one last thing you have to do depending on the program you're in. This has just saved a movie file for me. And so in order to uh, export this as an actual GIF, I do use my Giphy app. Jump in there and load my GIF up into here. And then I'll save it as a GIF. And there we go. That's your lesson for today. Thanks, you guys.